Have you ever noticed that when you finally let go or release a situation that you've been worried about, that's when it finally works out? That's because the breakthrough we're often waiting for doesn't come from our trying and striving, but our surrender to God. If you're ready to experience the freedom and blessing of sincere surrender, stay tuned because this video is for you. Welcome to Beloved Women with me, Christina Patterson, where we empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. If you are new here, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. And for those of you returning, welcome back. And for daily encouragement, beloved Bible study series and unlimited videos to grow your faith, I invite you to join the Beloved Women app. Earlier this year, I was having a challenge with one of the programs that my children participate in, and I was furious. Now, I'm not a fighter, but I will write a very strongly worded letter, and that is exactly what I plan to do. I was going all the way to the top, and I would let everyone know what was wrong and what needed to be fixed. But as I took a walk to calm down before writing this strongly worded letter, the Lord started to minister to me to get to the real root of my frustration. The truth was, as mad and angry as I was, I really felt powerless. I honestly felt there was nothing that I could do and that made me feel weak. I prayed about the matter, still feeling hopeless. And when I got home and was about to sit at my computer to write my letter, I checked my email to find that the problem had been solved without one word from me. God had already gone before me and took care of it. I didn't need to fight or control or convince. I just needed to be patient enough to let God have his way. When we're in a situation that we don't like, our first default response is usually to control matters ourselves. But this may leave little room for God to do what we can't. I've learned that true power doesn't come from control, but from surrender. So in today's video, we'll talk about what it means to truly surrender to God, what stops us from surrendering, and how to experience the freedom of God through surrender. But first, we have to understand what it means to surrender because it's our misunderstanding of surrender that prevents us from experiencing God's power in our lives. When we think of surrender, we often think of waving a white flag like we've lost a battle. We think of surrender as giving up, but in the kingdom of God, that is not surrender. In the upside down kingdom of God, surrender is actually victory because you are not at battle with God, but God is at battle for you. When you surrender to God, you're giving way to victory, not defeat. If we continue to think that surrender means that we lose, we are going to keep trying to control and manipulate and manufacture the results that we want instead of making room for God's way. What's wrong with that, you might ask? Well, God's way is greater than ours. Trying to control matters ourselves is the major cause stopping us from surrendering, and it's rooted in fear. Fear that God will let us down. Fear that he'll take too long and that his timing will be off. Fear that we've already been left to fend for ourselves. But God has not given us a spirit of fear. When we try and strive out of fear, we lose the love, power, and self-control God provides to the surrendered soul. Galatians 5 shows us the consequences of trying to control instead of surrender. Verse four says, if you are trying to make yourselves right with God by keeping the law, you have been cut off from Christ. You have fallen away from God's grace. The Galatians were striving and trying and controlling in their own strength to get right with God. But remember, That's not how things work in the kingdom of God. So instead of getting closer to God, the Galatians controlling manners actually push them further away from him. The same thing happens to us every time we try to control matters that only God can. Now, 
I'm not saying we don't do anything ever. I'm saying if something is out of our control, then it's our job to surrender it to God, not try harder. So how do we surrender our lives to God? First, we must recognize what we're holding on to that we need to release or what we're trying to force or control that we have no control over. These areas will be marked by feelings of frustration, powerlessness, sadness, and sometimes masked in anger. Now, there are two common ways that we often use to try to control instead of surrender. We often try to control with either our actions or our words. With our actions, we think of what we can do in our own strength to get the results that we want. This isn't always bad as faith without works is dead, but it's our work apart from God. It's our actions in our own strength that gets us in trouble. Instead, Psalm 46 10 says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Sometimes surrender requires us to be still. Now, we don't want to do this, especially if we're in pain or uncomfortable. We're looking for the fastest way out to safety and comfort. But when you know God, it gives you the strength to be still. When you know he is faithful and trustworthy and gracious, you gain the power to let God have his way. Sometimes, however, there is nothing that we can do. So we resort to our words to control, defend, and protect. But Exodus 14, 14 tells us, the Lord will fight for you. You have only to be silent. Sometimes your best fighting words are to be silent and let God fight for you. He will defend, vindicate, and redeem you. Surrender requires trusting in the God you are surrendering to. We try to take matters into our own hands when we don't trust God. We fight battles we shouldn't when we don't know God. To truly surrender, consider these truths. God is for you. God has not and will not forget you. God works in his way and his timing. God can be trusted. God can do more and better than you can on your own. To further help you in your journey of surrender, I invite you to watch this video where I have an in-depth Bible study on Psalm 46 to show you how to be still and know. And for more encouragement, I invite you to download my free Bible study called Worry Free to learn the three lies feeding your worry and the truth to set you free at belovedwomen.org. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, be beautiful, be blessed, and be loved.